Hello, welcome to episode 13 of Franbo. I'm joined with Paul again. Hello, everybody. We're being talked to by Janet Skybeast, who has turned us from a chunk of wood into a plant lady. Do you know what it reminds me of? The Never Ending Fairy Tale, whatever that film was. The Never Ending Story, that's what I thought too with Falcor yeah. when he first came in. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? I love that film. Anyway, we'll leave you at the station. She looks beautiful and majestic. Here we are again. Show Zero the King what nice insta. <laughs> what infrastorans you've become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty. She's so gonna be a crazy cat lady when she gets older. She's not. What are you about? She said earlier in the previous episode that she wanted to have her wall full of cat pictures. She was just joking, really. She didn't mean it. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, farewell. I'm off to fly away somewhere. Goodbye. Awkwardly staring at each other. Yeah, just for ages. I love stare. I'm a tree. <laughs> That's tremendous. <laughs> I love my hair. It looks so cool. I bet I know what your favorite number is. What? Tree. <laughs> That's how she pronounces three. So it's tree. she was. Pet. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh huh. Come on. One, two, three. Tree! See, she tree. did it right there. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> oh, you fluffy kitten! Oh, I do like it! I like touching the busy kit! Here I am. Friend, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty! Pretty, pretty kitty. Oh, let me see you. What the? What a great... It's a stanzy you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. The lone trust will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but nothing that you should worry about. Boot. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. She says something about a great wizard. I took a great wiz once. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who will be able to bring your human body back. So you got a bunch of human bodies that he just Ooh, has. Like... And he has the stones. Oh, it is the <laughs> He has the stones. <laughs> He's got balls. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand, like strawberries growing in your face. She'll understand stones later when she grows up. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. Fran. The great wizard lives in the mountain courtroom. Courtroom. But we haven't seen him for a while now. He's dead. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare portions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys, and where is the mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. How hard can it be to point her in the direction of the mountain? I have to go now. <laughs> Bye. Watch him walk just to the throne and stay there. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back in time to help you with the door. You have to go boop. Have oh, a God. great yesterday, and good luck finding the great wizard. That's really creepy. Look at him. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's normal. Wow, 
Did you see that huge fluffy creature kitty? That's Platyterus. He fixed me. Yes, it's very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. He's your purse. Thank you. Kitty, did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Hmm. Well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king says something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Kotram. The great wizard lives there. Let's go! To the... Well, at least you don't have to see any, like, super creepy things all over here and have nice land ruined. Yeah, it's all, like, happy. La, 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 la. Can I pick a strawberry? They look so tasty, but I think I won't eat right now. Ooh, these flowers are huge. They Does that make you a cannibal if you eat those now? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> you told me that we have to find the mountain Crotum and the great wizard. Right. This way! Oh, look. He looks so flat. <laughs> I forgot what his voice was. Um, whatever you want it to be. I'm just watching that guy fly by in their boat. Yeah. Woo! Whee! <laughs> Party! No, oh, no, no, you can't get in, it's closed. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind the passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back and follow winter, then it'll be open. Suspicious. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see, Palontras? Yes, that's me. Palontras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also the head. That's very positive. You got that going for you. <laughs> yeah, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Ithersta, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you're in the summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask me questions. <laughs> Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different in Ezra. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. That's his yes. way of saying go away. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bye. I like the idea of a logical place. It just sounds really suspicious, though, because everything keeps going... Everyone keeps going, it's logic, though, isn't it? Hello, kitty. <laughs> I still let that guy out the window. Where is he? There it is. <laughs> Right. Out this way? Ooh. He looks fabulous. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you the guard? Or a guard? Yes! <laughs> oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain Crotum is? Yes! Can you tell me where it is? Yeah. Well, tell me, please. The mountain caravan is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Maybe it's snow part. Um, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Well, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go, but how? Oh, sorry, I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs, then straight. You'll find a clock maker. I almost said cock maker. Oh, he can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. <laughs> I'm guessing he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'd imagine not. All right, thank you, sir. No problem. You look fabulous, my dear. Thank you. Why aren't you wearing pants? I don't need them. Hmm. Which journey to take? Is there anything to click on? I don't think so. I'd read the corrupt commemorative plaque. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so that's where we got changed into a tree. Then we walked up here, then we've gone down here. So we need to go to the right. Wait. Yeah. That one. 
Wait, you should look at that one more time. Huh? Why? Yeah, the mountains, yeah. Alright. No? No, no, okay, cool. You sure? Yep. Do you know something I don't know? No. Oh. There's a lot of things I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, the clock maker. This is a very old clock. What are the numbers? It has symbols and colours, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently in Nestra. Well, maybe they use clocks to indicate night and... Ooh. Sounds like something broke. Did Look you just the... break their clock? No. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but how does it work? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I could ask for help. Can you adjust the dial? Has symbols and colours. Well, I guess the time works different here. Um, I don't think you can. All I can do is click on this little thing. Uh, maybe we need more to do it. Um, I broke it. Hello, true man. Um, I'd like to borrow the boat. <laughs> uh, I'd like to borrow that boat. Okay, so let's go back. No, down here. Uh, up into the right, we haven't been to yet, oh. have we? Up here. Oh, he looks lovely. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm, uh, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade's yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers of the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside, too, so we can fly. Fly? Wow. I'd like to try that. It sounds great. Does that mean they're getting high? Yeah, this is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Is there anything in this basket? Oh, a basket. It's empty. Okay. Up here? Oh, I recognise this kind of tree. Aunt Grace had one at home. Mm. Let's go to the right. Ooh. Ooh la la. It's locked though. I'm guessing that's the bar, isn't it? Most likely. I wonder what this is. What does the sign Oh, we can't read, can we? <laughs> Unless there's something really important. Okay, left or right? Ah, it's your call. Left. I'm here! This mountain is very high because it's the top. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. I guess it would sound very loud, like an earthquake. Oh. It's got a face. Can you talk to it? Hello? Excuse me. What do we have on us? <laughs> Stab it. That's all thinking. No. Look up, you damn mountain! Can you read the book we have? Oh yeah. Examine. Oh. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. You're right, it was Leon. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. July 11, 1908. Would you like to do this or should I do this? My name is Leon. I am currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. I like to be naked all the time. Since childhood, I always talk to animals, plants, and insects. And even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't or you can feel what others avoid you can listen to the silence and become one with everything Lee drew a really nice picture December 17th 1875 I can't stop it I can't control it 
I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. It's like us. Hey, look. Wait, go back one. Wait. What? There's the vagina monster that we saw earlier. <laughs> oh, my God. I like that one the most. It looks so chill. It just looks confused. Like, what the hell happened, man? Like, am I meant to be like the others? I was going to say one. Look, that's the guy. Cry because that hurts. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I still breathing. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name was. Is it Renor or Remor? Remor, I think. Prince of Darkness in the fifth, uh, from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to his existence. Inside my head. The stone of wisdom inside my head. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around and the other me tell me tell me lies. Talk about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the word kill yourself. And I've tried hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. <laughs> That's what it says, right? It must be yeah, the yeah, yeah. January 15th, 1876. I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. Kamalas. <laughs> the race is called Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me. Sounds like it was an awkward moment. He said yeah. that. You stood there and then it rained and you're like, okay. <laughs> Leaving a black oily path after it, ooh, it peed itself. I believe water may purify them. <laughs> January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, oh, that's terrible. I feel bad. Why would you pour water on this? Like, ah! The Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. Oh, it felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Oh, maybe the water is good. Yeah, I was just thinking, so what? So all the shadows are basically... These are the shadows once they're purified? Yeah, so it must... Maybe that's the one he purified, the one we saw before? Yeah, yeah, the one that's following us. So they all then need water to purify any of them. Apparently. That's weird. That's really strange. Okay. We'll take a bath, everybody. Yeah, that's... Is it normal water? Does it say normal, just... It just said water. Just water. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it felt like a bright creature could read my thoughts. Um, I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If there's still wait. All the Valocasts must go there after waking up. Wait, that's where we are now, right? Yeah. Wait. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. It said. Uh, I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Oh. Because I'm pretty sure that's where we're at right now. Still... Yeah, that's where we are right now. Hmm. Read faults. I think that's a bit scary. So these, so these are the tree people. Is that right? I guess they become tree people when they come here, maybe? So she was originally a shadow, then. Sorry, okay, let's go on. <laughs> February, 20, or February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Rema from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Etherstub may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Valakas invitation. Since I saw the Valakas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head. And a single sentence... Time is the rhythm of your perception. March or Mars. I'm not sure. He might be on a planet. Yeah. 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him he's a douche. I mean, I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. 
July 25th, 1876, my body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you out all the social... Wait. Life becomes quite easy to control when you out all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. Wow. Oh. November 11th. Last night after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of any unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I pour some of the pink liquid on a dying plant, and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue, and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as, a pl uh, as platelets and white blood cells, but at the very but at very high speed. That's cool. It's flying doctor. Oh my god. November 22nd, 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at me at my sleep. Beans and ether style are varied from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Ooh. Do we need to remember this? <laughs> That's going to be important right there. Okay. I don't know, like, how important... Because that corresponds with a lot of the symbols that were on that plaque. Apha, Sarah. The Great Volokas is the being of the first reality, Primev Light. The Volokas shield? The Volokas body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. Unlike us, you said they're different than us. Yeah. When the youngsters reach the age of... Whoa, that's a big Whoa. number. They are crowned with the shield. That's pretty cool. ZR, creation of the great Volkas, king of Ithrista, second reality life. We've heard that name before. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the guy we ran into. Yeah, that's the king. February 13th, 1877, being in Ithrista feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off and trees and water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence. Free! Besides in the human, or resides in the human world. Third reality, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Sender, Sidi, the end of vibration when both ends of opposites are the same degree. Resides in the third and fourth reality, death. death. Makuba is the end of light. Makuba. Is that the... Go or him? That's the. Yeah, the scout. March 25th, 1877. Mother Makuba is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Nakuba's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's a part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and it's everything. I enjoy crying. <laughs> I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filament. That's why they look like they are growing hair. Oh, are those the flying oh, yeah, things we saw earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the big faces, mostly for communication purposes, and to scare the predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. And then they turned into those little flies. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. And then there's a page missing. Somebody got hungry, probably. Yum, yum. What's this? The drawing to the left of the book looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. I never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Right. Well, we've got some backstory now that's relevant to where we are. That's good. Right. So the mountain's not going to talk to us. 
Did they is tell it because us... it's not winter? Or... Yeah, so we need to go back to the dial, but we need to find someone to help us with the dial. Yeah. Can we go to the left here? I mean, instead of up and left, but just straight left? This way? Yeah. There's nothing here but trees and flowers. Oh. Okay, never mind. I was just curious. To the right? Yeah, let's go to the right. Okay, and then... We haven't been to the right again, have we? Nope. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow. That's... Well, at least we know why they have their masks, because when they get super old, they get their masks. Yeah. Should we talk to them? <laughs> let's talk to them. Oh, wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. Are you going to? The purest of feelings, the light of all material, we are Vlokas. Oh, you're very shiny, and you made yeah. me feel so happy. So very happy. We yeah, have that effect on people. <laughs> Look, creature, one of the young Vlokas will receive the shield. I'm a gapa, I'm a I'm a gran. <laughs> you sound like a sim. Oh! Da -da -da. Shit. Soldier of the sun, creature of the soldier, fruit of the seed, from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with truth and be free! Nice robot. That was an anticlimactic ceremony. <laughs> yeah. huh. Where are you going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be free with you, my friend. Is this reincarnation? Is that the whole thing? I think so. So, oh, miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish you know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is a man's. You're living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Oh. See ya. Bye. Go. But... Don't be sad, we have to keep on going. No. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Right. Thank you everyone for watching, and thank you, Paul, for joining me. Well, thanks for having me. We're going to find out what happens next and find out if we can make this I want to make that giant back. robot thing attack Goatman. There's a key there, so we might be able to. Thank you, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.